This is something I did for Vogue Knitting Magazine. It's a lot calmer and, well, calmer but more graphic. It's funny to look back and see what you've done over the years. It's another one that I did for uh, Vogue Magazine. Just a very simple little fair isle, two colors a row. But I uh, used uh, maybe six or eight colors that kind of give it that effective chevron striped chevron pattern quite nippy with a pair of faded jet denim jeans and a pair of old cowboy boots you just need the horse to go with it is she great look at her she's fabulous <laughs> My background is from, I'm from the catering industry and a stint as the private cook to the British ambassador in Greece. And I was back in London waiting for a bus and I got speaking to this American chap. I mentioned he was an author and designer and I'm like, you don't eat one of those every day. This chap was Kay Facet. I have a painting I did of Brandon. When we first met, he was about 21 years old. Uh, with little round glasses and long blonde hair in those days that he brushed forward. And he's the only person who smiled all through the painting. I was thrown in a lot of color right at the very beginning and he taught me the basic techniques of how to hold those colors in to the knitting and learn the very basic things. There didn't seem to be many rules or regulations and that suited me very well. I can't walk a straight line. I'll skip and I'll jump and I might get there at the very end. You learn by your mistakes. You fall down and you get right back up. It's quite obvious that if I was going to bake bread, I wasn't going to bake white bread. If I was going to make a cake, it was going to be a party cake. So where do you think the inspiration for this shirt came from? Jam tarts. Nope, not jam tarts. Fish lips. I was looking at a shoal of fish in Japan. There's carp fish and they were giving me the lips. And there you go. There, the idea was put straight on the paper. I would say it's one of my more popular fabric designs. It's funny, when people ask me, what do I do if it was somebody in the street or the bus stop? And I always have a problem uh, saying what I do because it's very hard. Some people will call me a designer, other people will say I'm an artist. I say I'm more of an artist. I can't pop myself into a nutshell and say this is me <laughs> because I'm a chameleon. The confidence that I have now versus the confidence that I had 20 years ago when I was a boy, I've got more confidence now because um, I enjoy what I do and I'm not afraid to make a mistake. I don't feel like I'll ever stop learning. It's a mad, mad world, um, but I suit that mad, mad world very well. <laughs> it suits my mad, mad mind, yeah. I'd love to be able to how long it works. 